With that down, let's move on to main topic number four. And our fourth main topic today gets submitted to us by uh, Ahmad Pittman, who writes, With the new Morbius trailer that was just released, do you think that this means that Tom Holland might appear in Venom 2 or maybe even a cameo or post credit scene in either film? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And of course, yesterday we talked about the Morbius trailer dropping. And and of, besides, I thought it was a very solid trailer. I thought it was a solid trailer. Got me kind of hyped for this movie. But of course, the things that everybody's talking about, Rob, is that scene as Jared Leto is walking down the alley. There's the big Spider-Man mural with the words murderer written over it. Of course, a callback to the post credit scene in Spider-Man Far From Home. And then, of course, Michael Keaton popping up at the end, getting everybody buzzing and wondering, does this happen in the same universe as the MCU Spider-Man? Or is it just a real clever kind of, you know, uh, bait and switch, a little bit of a sleight of hand that Sony's marketing is pulling on us. Uh, who knows? Have to wait and see. I mean, look, they, the Star Wars showed the thing with Dark Ray and the Dark Ray thing was just a, a side note in the whole thing. Maybe this is a little bit of that or maybe he's in it. So it brings up a question <laughs> that we've had before and we've had to wonder about. We've asked before, Rob, could Tom Holland's Spider-Man pop up in this movie? And we said it's always possible, but unlikely and blah, 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 blah. But you never know with these sorts of things. But now after seeing this trailer that we talked about yesterday, after seeing Michael Keaton pop up, it, it becomes a question within a question. Question number one is, is that Vulture or is this, this just Michael Keaton playing a new character? But if it is Vulture... And if that mural on the side of the wall isn't just a fun little Easter egg, which it still may just be, but if it's not, then it forces us, Rob, to revisit this question of could Tom Holland actually appear in this movie? And I have always said, I believe it's possibility, but I would not bet on it. I, I, as a matter of fact, I would bet against it. But Rob, even I, at this point, have to reconsider this a little bit. Let me throw out some anecdotal stuff at you that proves nothing, but it's at least something to think about and something to consider. Thing number one, just the stuff that's in the trailer. We've already talked about that. The mural, Michael Keaton, whether he's Vulture or not, we don't know, but there's that. Anecdotal. Number two is this, Rob. Okay, follow me here. And oh. I, I understand this is stretching a little bit. This is a little bit of a reach. I get it, but follow me here. You know, we just talked recently on this show about the fact that what the hell is Sony doing? They just delayed Uncharted again and blah, blah. They knew very well that this that they were doing another Spider-Man movie. How come all this thing is happening now? Why do you delay this movie? Blah, 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 blah. Is it possible? And again, I'm not, I'm, I am admitting right up front, this could be a big stretch. Okay. I'm admitting that right up front, but just as fans, let's talk about this for a second. Is it possible that one of the things interrupting Tom Holland's schedule that ultimately had a big effect on Uncharted, could it be theoretically speaking that not only is he trying to wrap up this stupid movie he's been making with Daisy Ridley for three years, that is that was supposed to come out last year and hasn't come out. I can't even remember the name of it now. Could it be that it's not just that he's got a new MCU-based Spider-Man film that he needs to do for Sony? Could it be that Tom Holland actually has some involvement in this Morbius movie, which is just further to complicating his schedule? Again, that is massive fan speculation and massively unfounded on anything fact or truth. It is just pure speculation. It could be a major reach. But Rob, after seeing that trailer yesterday, I cannot help but wonder. I cannot help but at least wonder if that might also point that the disruption of the Uncharted schedule may also point to the fact that, yep, Tom Hardy very well could be appearing in this movie as Spider-Man. Again, that's that's... That's compiling a what if, what if that actually is Vulture Michael Keaton's playing, or maybe he's another character, on top of another what if. I get that, but I've got to believe it at least is a possibility here. Rob, how crazy am I even considering that at this point? What argument would you make here? Dude, let me ask you, John. I'll throw it to you. You're All running right. you're running Sony. You you get your you get your situation with Marvel straightened out. You've got two Marvel movies that Spider-Man can be in. 
You are making a Spider-Verse. Venom makes $800 million. You start making Morbius, the living vampire, with Jared Leto, an Academy Award-winning actor. You put Venom and Carnage. You put Venom 2 into production with Carnage. Would you put Spider-Man in those movies if you could? <sighs> yes, you could. would, John. Yes, you would. <laughs> you would. And let me tell you something. I will bet you a hundred million dollars because Morbius is coming out before Venom. I will bet you, I will bet you, maybe it's in the second trailer. I will bet you, first of all, that we will see Spider-Man in the Venom 2 marketing at some point. Really? I, I am willing. Oh my You're god. You're going that crazy? far. We're gonna see a scene. We're gonna see a scene, probably the end of a trailer, with Venom and Carnage squaring off with probably innocent bystanders about to get wrecked, and you're going to see Spider-Man show up between them. And that's how, how a trailer shot's going to... That's going to be the end of a trailer. And I think we're either going to get a post credit scene or we're going to get a scene toward the end of the movie where Spider-Man is absolutely in Morbius. Because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? You're, well, I, be, because of business, business agreements with Marvel and how are they would, would like can they cross these things over? Does Marvel not want to have that happen? Blah blah blah. I mean, but I mean, but keep this in mind. To your point, Rob, keep this in mind. Everybody keeps forgetting. Marvel doesn't own the movie rights to Spider Man. Sony still does, and that means Michael Keaton's Vulture character isn't Marvel's. It's right. Sony's. Yep. That's their character in their so movie. Spider -Man. <laughs> so is Spider-Man. So is Spider-Man. So, I mean, I, I mean, it opens it up. But you think we're actually going to get a trailer where Spider-Man drops into the scene. Dude, I'm telling you what. If that happens, the internet's going to blow up. They, I mean for Venom 2. I think probably the last Oh, for trailer, Venom 2. Okay. For Venom 2. Not for Morbius. For so Venom you're, 2. So you're, you're saying, you're saying he's, he's going to be in Venom 2. And I'm saying he's going to be in Morbius, probably in a post credit scene or something. Because, look, they're intentionally – this was not – you know, ending that trailer with Michael Keaton, I mean, that's – you might as well just say straight up, that's – that's Spider-Man is around. If that's Vulture, and why wouldn't it be? That's why they just – But we don't know him. yet. We don't but know. So I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep that in mind. They wouldn't have ended the trailer that way if it wasn't. You know, Michael Morbius. Who did he meet when he was in the hospital? Michael Morbius. I mean, I'm telling you, I, I, he either broke out or something went wrong. I mean, they know each other, obviously. I'm telling you that's the vulture, and I just hope that Hot Toys be. eventually makes the toy they promised us of that character because I want it. It could be. So question is now we throw it over to you guys. Now that we've had about 24 hours to sit on that trailer – do you think, I mean, again, it's an if built upon another if, but still, if that is Vulture, and it's not just Michael Keaton playing another character, but if it is Vulture, what do you think? Do you think Tom Hardy, they've kept this under wraps, do you think Tom Hardy makes an appearance as Peter Parker slash Spider-Man in the new Morbius film? The game has changed since that trailer came out. How are you guys feeling about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.